Welcome back to MCC Connects. I'm Mary Jo Griffin. We're talking about spring break this, this segment, and in particular, we're talking about alternative spring breaks, where students choose not to go to those wild, crazy parties on the beach, mm -hmm. and they choose to continue their education, continue their civil engagement. And with me now is Michelle Ross and Sherry Dank. Sherry Dank is from the Center for Community Engagement. Good morning. Michelle Ross is uh, a student at Middlesex Community College. And your alternative spring break offering to the students was the Habitat for Humanities. Right. Is it humanity? Humanity. Humanity. Yes. Let's start first with Michelle. I'd like to um, find out a little bit about you and how you ended up at Middlesex Community College. Okay. I'm an untraditional student, obviously. I'm in the paralegal program. Um, back a thousand years ago, I majored in literature, but I didn't finish. And I wanted to finish and perhaps even go on, and Middlesex has been such a nurturing environment for me. Sherry, what is your job as uh, the Center for Community Engagement? Well, I coordinate a lot of different engagement opportunities for students, and the Habitat, we've been having um, students go for alternative spring break with Habitat since 2006. Students have gone to Lawrence, Westford, Bedford, and Billerica, and um, every year we choose 10 students and a couple of advisors, and we go off and do whatever the chapter needs us to do. What, um, what this year's project entailed? Well, this year was a little different than any of the other years, and I think that's one of the intriguing things about the partnership with uh, Habitat is that every year it's different. This year, uh, the Greater Lowell chapter is opening in um, the summer. We're not sure of the date, mm. but soon, I hope. Uh, a project called Restore. This is... Um, a store, it's a retail store that will sell items that are donated or, um, well, they, they sell ho household items from a lot of places, companies, individuals, and they hope to fund two houses every year with the profit that they make for mm -hmm. this. So we spent two and a half of our days at the Restore site, which is a closed car dealership in Villarica, the former Iverson Ford dealership. And it had been sitting vacant for years before Habitat got involved with it, and it had been sitting vacant for about a year with um, things um, being stored in there. So sort our students, right, inside, collecting yeah. dirt and dust and yep. everything else. <laughs> cabinets. Cabinets. So we spent those first two and a half days helping to clean up. We did a lot of work on the outside building. There was two and a half years of um, oh, leaves and debris, and our students mm -hmm. spent a lot of time cleaning outside. And then uh, we went inside, Michelle and Nancy Curl, who was the other advisor on the trip, uh, put up a lighting display. And when we left after our two and a half days there, it looked like a res It looked like a store. Oh, a store. It was amazing. And we built the, um, the desk that you'll be using when you go there to purchase items mm -hmm. and put up um, all kinds of lighting displays and mm -hmm. put supplies out. It was really amazing. You know, when you think of Habitat for Humanity, you think of a family who has lost their home, so mm -hmm. you know you're building them a new home. But this was yeah. a, a different piece of the business, if you will. Or it the, or was the a different piece. Yeah, it was more of an opportunity to be on the back end of it, really. To, you know, to see how how some of the funding is created. It's 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 donations, obviously, but mm -hmm. it's donations that go back into the world and do something good. It's a giant closed loop recycling sort of thing, right. which is which is great. Well, Sherry Dang, Center for Community Engagement, thank you so much for all you do for the college, and I know that thank you've you. been involved with this alternative spring break for a long time, mm -hmm. and I am proud that Middlesex Community College offers such great programming for our students. Well, as an alumni, so am I. Oh. It's wonderful um, for students. And Michelle Ross, good luck in your you. future endeavors. If you end up at Wellesley College, please come back and visit I us. I certainly will. And tell us how um, it's going. Mm -hmm. I will. Thank you. We're going to take a short break. Please stay tuned for the next segment of MCC Connects.